Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the Girl Be Free podcast. I'm your host, Siobhan, where I'm going to inspire and motivate you to show up for yourself. We are in the Motherless Child Guidebook, A Sacred Space for Healing Your Mother Wounds, three-part series, and today is part three, which is titled, I Am Breaking Generational Trauma. I remember when I was in therapy several years ago when we were having our one-on-one session and my therapist said, you know, you're breaking generational curses, right? And I said, tell me more. What do you mean? And she said, you know, when you look at every area of your life, like the trauma stops with you. And I took that all in and I was like, you know what? She's so right. Like I am breaking generational trauma that has been passed down um, over and over again. And I felt so good in that moment and I was intentional, you know, about continuously doing the inner work that I talk about on the podcast all the time. And then most recently, after I completed the Motherless Child Guidebook, I was having a conversation with my cousin and she had come over my house and we were just chit-chatting and I was telling her how excited I was that the Motherless Child Guidebook was now complete. I had sent it over to my graphic designer and how I just felt like so good. And she starts to share with me, she said, you know, you're breaking generational curses. She said, the trauma that you experienced, it stops with you. And she said, the most powerful thing about this is that you are now teaching other women the same thing and how to change the trajectory of their life. So that means their life will be different and everyone connected to them will be different as well. And, you know, I took it in again. I said, you're, you're so right. And I didn't look at the motherless child guidebook in the beginning. I didn't look at it that way. I just knew I needed to create something that I wish I had that could support me on my journey of healing from my mother wounds. And when she made that point, it reminded me of what my therapist said. And that is exactly what this piece of work is. We are breaking generational trauma. And if you're not familiar with that phrase, basically that's just trauma passed down generation from generation. And it's not consciously in most cases, it is a subconscious thing that happens. And if you don't do something about it, you will pass on that same trauma to your children and that cycle will just continue on. And so after I had that conversation with my cousin, the following day I went for a walk outside and I was just taking in the beauty of the summer. The sun was shining, all that jazz. And as I was walking, I said, you know what? I got to share that conversation that I had with my cousin. I need to share that on Facebook. And as I was typing it and I was wrapping up to say, I am teaching other women how to break generational curses. It starts to rain out of nowhere, like a sprinkle of rain. And I look up and the sun is just shining shining so bright, but it's raining. And I knew in that moment that God was affirming what I felt inside, that he was cleansing me of the trauma and the pain, and that he was proud of the work that I was doing and that I was obedient to this call. That's not very easy, y'all. This is emotional work, but I was obedient to it. And I just looked up and I smiled and I'm like, I receive all of that. And by the time I got home, maybe a few minutes later, the rain had stopped. That was God speaking directly to me. And I felt it in that very moment. And I am absolutely sure that the work that I'm doing, not only will it change my life, but it's going to change every single woman or man who invest in the motherless child guidebook. And if your healing journey is as important to you as it is to me, you're going to do whatever it takes to get started. Now let's talk about generational trauma a little bit more here. So, cause I really want you to envision in this in your mind. So let's just say when your grandmother had your mother, it's very possible that she could have been carrying her own trauma, maybe a toxic relationship from her mother. Something was going on in her life that was passed down to her through her mother. And then your grandmother gets pregnant with your mom and that same trauma, if no one decides to heal from it, is passed over to the next person. And so whatever you experience with your mother, and I talk about this in the Motherless Child Guidebook, 
I don't believe in my heart of hearts, I don't think that your mother intentionally wanted to hurt you. I don't think that your mother intentionally wanted you to suffer. However, she was acting out possibly of what was passed down to her through generations and generations. And so if something was missing in her life and she experienced some traumatic experiences, guess who was who got that? You did. And you have to set in your mind, in your heart, that the trauma stops with you, that you're going to do whatever it takes to heal. So that way your children and your children's children are not living through your trauma. And I remember several months ago, I posted this on Facebook. I said, as a result of me going to therapy, my children get to benefit from my healing. My children are not going to experience the trauma that I went through because I've been doing it in a work with going to therapy and working with a life coach and journaling and reading the books and, you know, being self-aware and using my stones and burning stage sage and all these different spiritual practices that I'm doing to make myself whole. And that means that they don't have to go through the same pain and hurt that I experienced. Now, will they have pain? Absolutely. Will they go through stuff in life? Absolutely. But I'm not passing down my pain. Not at all. I won't do that. And so I hope that you have the same intention in mind that the trauma that you've experienced, that it stops with you, that you are going to make a commitment to yourself, that you will do the work that it takes to heal. The Motherless Child Guidebook is an investment into yourself, right? It is less than a session at therapy, but it's definitely an investment in yourself. And it's going to be the starting point of what it takes to identify the toxic relationships that you have with your parents or specifically with your mother. Okay. It's going to teach you how to mother your inner child. How do you heal those wounds that you have from your mother that has been passed down? And then how do you begin to change your narrative? So then that way, the things that have happened in your past, you're not living through it. You're creating a new story for yourself. All of that is possible. And I know that because I am a witness. I am a living example of it. Okay. I have identified the toxic relationship that I have with my mother. And in my case, my mother was emotionally and mentally unavailable. I have started to do the work with mothering my inner child. I have identified what my mother wounds are and I've changed my narrative. I'm changing my story because now it, I'm in a place where I am not carrying the abandonment issues that I have for my childhood, but I'm creating a new story for myself. So that way I'm not revisiting my pain over and over again. And then I can help women just like you start to do the work. So I was reading this post on Instagram and it's from the, um, the page, the holistic psychologist. And she says, childhood trauma also can look like number one, not being seen or heard. Number two, having a parent who unconsciously molds or shapes you from a place of their own unhealed trauma. Number three, having a parent who lives through their child vicariously. Number four, being told that certain emotions make you weak or undesirable. Number five, a lack of boundaries. Number six, having a parent who focuses on overcompensating for things that they were lacking in their own childhood. Number seven, having a parent who denies your reality. And that is a big one that I have heard from so many women about how they have about how their mothers dismiss everything that has happened in their childhood because they don't want to own up to their stuff. Number eight, having a parent who focuses heavily on appearance, whether that's body, hair, clothing, and makeup. Number nine, being an emotional support for parents. And then number 10, having a parent who cannot regulate their own emotions. So that's also what childhood trauma looks like. So it's more than just traumatic experience that may have happened. It can always, it can also look like what I just shared with you. And so it is your responsibility in order to flourish, in order to be free, you have to break the generational trauma. It is not an overnight change. It 
takes time. Um, I've been doing this work for several years and I'm so glad that I got started. Because if I never would have started doing the healing work, like what I talk about in the Motherless Child Guidebook, I would not be talking to you today. I would not be doing the work that I'm doing today. My life will look completely different. And so I encourage you as I wrap up this three-part series to invest in the Motherless Child Guidebook, a sacred space for healing your mother wounds. Not only will I cover the topics of you know, toxic mother patterns, how to identify your mother wounds, mothering your inner child, creating a new narrative, as well as sharing my story and why I created the guide. You're also going to get jam-packed bonuses that's going to help support you on your journey. And that includes 90 minutes, excuse me, that includes over 90 minutes of video content that complements the 40-page guidebook. You're going to have 25 soul writing prompts that you can journal that will help you dig deep and write from your heart. Over 30 healing affirmations that will be in the guidebook, but you can also download the MP3 so that you can listen to the affirmations anywhere you go. A curated book list, so that way you have books and resources that you can further look into to help you support your journey from healing from your mother wounds. A music playlist with songs that encourage me that I want to share with you. And then lastly, you're going to get the Motherless Child Guidebook podcast series. All of that for an investment um, of $50 for the Motherless Child Guidebook, a sacred space for healing your mother wounds. I encourage you to order your copy today at themotherlesschild.co. And even if you have a beautiful relationship with your mother, Um, and you've grown a lot, there's somebody in your life that can benefit from this work. Trust me, I know it. People have been privately sharing their painful stories, and you would never know that they're suffering or suppressing that pain if you just looked at them. You never know what what your friends or your family are going through or who's following you on social media. So I encourage you to share this podcast series, share the link for the Motherless Child Guidebook, you know, um, with your audience and with your community, because you never know who needs to do the healing work if that person is not yourself. And even if it is you, you know, you invest in it, maybe you invest in it for a friend and you support them. You can do that as well. So you can purchase the Motherless Child Guidebook, A Sacred Space for Healing Your Mother Wounds, and you can purchase it for a friend that you want to support and help on their journey. Again, the website is themotherlesschild.co. I hope you enjoyed this three-part series. And please make sure you connect with me on Instagram at Be Free Project. If you want to shoot me an email, feel free to do that. I will love to know your key takeaways from the episode. You can share all of my podcasts and your stories on your feed, on social media. Just tag me at Be Free Project so I can see it and say, hey, girl, hey. Thank you so much for believing in me and the work that I'm doing and supporting it in any capacity. I deeply appreciate you. And until next time, girl, be free.